It's the National Football League on EA Sports. And we've got a couple teams searching for their first Super Bowl. It's the Houston Texans and the Detroit Lions. All that and more coming up next. First open in 2002. There's a look inside Ford Field here in downtown Detroit, the Motor City. Straight ahead, we've got a good one on tap here between the Houston Texans and the Detroit Lions. Brandon Gunn alongside, as always, my partner Charles Davis and CD. In the few moments here before kickoff, let's give these folks at home a look at these two offenses by the numbers. What stands out to you? Brandon, I just continue to be amazed by the analytics of the game, and it's an area where I continue to concentrate and study because I'm still trying to figure out how coaches and coordinators can really crunch the numbers and find where exactly on the field the defense is. to begin the drive. That's to about the 28. Second down coming up. So now this offense will take over and they will have the football at their own 20-yard line. On the ground, it's Swift to start the drive. And he's going to get seven out of this before being taken down at the 27. A good run got seven on first. Here's second and three. Here's a toss play right to Swift. And this won't be enough to pick up the first. A gain of two, third and one. So they just need one yard here to pick up the first down. They'll try and run here with Swift. And he's able to get the first before he's taken down at the 36. A strong eight yards will keep this drive rolling. So from the 36 now, first and ten. Once again, it's Swift. And a six-yard gain gets him right around the 43. A quick burst there, and he nicely bit off a pretty decent gain. Line of scrimmage, the 43 on second and four. Go off a handoff here to Swift. And he'll be stopped at the 46, gain of three. Brandon, all things considered, they have to feel pretty good about getting that type of a gain considering the blitz that they just had against him. They'll fake the handoff. Now gone. He's going to float this over the middle deep. And he bats it away, and it falls down incomplete. One thing that offensive guys stress when they throw the deep ball, you're just counting on your receiver to find it, adjust before the defensive back can get his head around. In this case, though, the DB matched it move for move and knocked it away. And he's going to be taken down just shy of the 35. I guess they don't care if I agree with that. Or you to be surprised by that, right? I, I definitely was surprised that they decided to go for it in this situation. But they must have either felt like they either had a great play call on or they're trying to show extreme confidence. And they'll get eight out of this before being stopped at the 28. Swift going to try up the middle. Takes this one in for a Lions touchdown. 28 yards for Deion. The Lions offense ready to kick off their next drive. They've got the 7 0 lead. Now they've got the football back after their defense got the stop CD. And you get the feeling if they could score here, they really have all the momentum on their side. And you just wonder right now is the quarterback and the play caller totally in sync? Are they of one mind that, hey, what worked last time? Let's keep doing it until they stop us. Or do they go to a different section in the playbook, show them something different? Either way, they want a repeat of their first drive. Breaks the tackle. Now we're Allen. Swift with his second touchdown here in this first half. And the Lions are able to strike quickly to... With a little over 
Two minutes to play in the second quarter. The offense gets ready to take over. On first down, gone. Wide open receiver complete. And they nearly get this all the way to midfield. Mark him down at the 49. All right, the offense back out there now. Let's see what they can put together. So one play, and they're already just shy of midfield. Gone. Looking for his tight end on the corner. It's complete. Back-to-back -back receptions for him, and it's another first down. Here's gone. He's going to get that to Swift underneath. And they're going to get this down inside the 20. Good strong throw and catch right there. And so far in this game, the alleys have been open for them to get completions, and they're taking advantage of it. So here's a first and 10 now down inside the 20. And that one incomplete, but now a penalty flag coming in late. That might be P.I. Defense. So pass interference, the call is so tough as a defender, I'd imagine, to time that up perfectly. It certainly is difficult to get it exactly right because sometimes you're looking at getting there fractions of seconds too early. That one looked a little more obvious. Always a tough pen. He's got his man. It's caught for a Lion touchdown. A seven-yard touchdown. So the offense set to take the field here. They will have the football with less than a minute to go in the first half. Now Goff on first down. Over the middle, hauled in by Shark. And he's going to get this one across the 30-yard line. First down yardage on the first play of the drive, giving 14. That's a nice throw there, and he's obviously feeling pretty good because remember, he had a touchdown pass on the last drive, and here he comes out throwing again. And they wind up getting good yardage and a first down right out of the gate. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. Out of the gun, gone. And that is incomplete. Partner, they're not content to run this one out as we head towards the half, trying to hit a big chunk play right there and add to their score. Yeah, this is a confident group. At the very least, they're thinking field goal. Yeah, and I don't blame them one bit. I don't think you sit on the ball going into the half when you have a chance to put some more points on the board. They are in need of six yards here if they hope to move the chains. So we've reached halftime here in Detroit with the Lions out on top. As we'll send you down to Orlando, we check in with Jonathan Coachman for our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. All right, BG, thanks very much. And welcome one and all to our beautiful new downtown Orlando studio. And just like that, on we head to half number two. Final adjustments being made in both locker rooms. They are just about set to get back to football in Detroit. And for the call of the second half, we'll kick it back up to Ford Field and Brandon God. All right, Coach, thanks very much. Fine work as always as we welcome you back for quarter number three. Oh, a good-looking return set up here. And all in all, a pretty solid return. Nearly got it to the third. At the 34. Third quarter starts with a run from Swift. And so room to roll now. And they've got it well across midfield, down to the 40 before it's all said and done. 157 yards for him on the ground now. He has been a tough man to bring down all night. First down, and they go with Swift again. To the 36-yard line, stop there. Well, you certainly have to give a little credit here because they're playing this game now at their pace. This is ball control football, sustained runs, taking their time, and making it work. That's complete to DeAndre Swift out of the backfield. And he'll be brought down at the 27. He's already proven to be a factor in the running game on this drive. Now he gets involved in the passing game. I think what we're seeing here is the modern version of workhorse in the NFL, being able to run it and catch it with equal proficiency. They get him to the ground right on the cusp of the red zone after a pickup of five or six. Six yards on that last play. Here's second and four. 
They'll stay on the ground with Swift. And he'll get it down this time to the 17. Four yards the pick up, first down. There's gone. And oh, that nearly their first pick of the game, but it falls down to the ground incomplete. So second and 10 now here in the third quarter from Detroit. Now gone. And that is caught. Touchdown, Detroit. A great play there. A beast of the Reds. The Detroit offense ready to begin their drive. That last drive, it was a good mix. Run, pass, run, pass. Defense on their toes. And what really helps out in a big way is when you're doing the run-pass mix and everything's working, that means that they're guessing wrong every time on defense. They think you're going to pass when you run and vice versa. I would continue that, and when they finally draw a beat on you, maybe mix it up a little bit with play action and throw the ball. And will they maintain that balance time to find out? First down for the Lions on a nice pickup of 18 yards. Final minute now, the third quarter. On first and ten, it's Swift. And some space here. And they're able to work this to the 25 before it's all said and done. 25 yards, the pick up there, and also a first down. Outside handoff to the right side. If you're a running back, you love getting the ball early, so you have vision to see what's happening in front of you. Right tackle likes that call. Big play for him, but don't forget about the guys you always tell me on the backside sealing off. But they talk about cutoff blocks, making sure no one can leak from the backside that can run a play down. Yeah, nobody leaked. Big play. And they're not going to get to the line to run another play. So we will switch ends as the third quarter has come to a close. Back now at Ford Field. A lot of happy faces in the crowd at this point as their guys have a big lead here to start quarter number four. They'll try the air now with Gaw. Throw over the middle, he finds Williams. And he's brought down after a very nice game. A good pick up there, 21 yards. these primetime slots to deliver some of the best games each week and well one team has certainly followed through with that tonight just an absolute clinic Charles on offense here and they don't seem to be done trying to drive that football yeah and continue your theme about one team enjoying it one fan base is enjoying it. and he is into the end zone touchdown Detroit fourth and final quarter as the offense will have the football starting this drive first and ten. They'll start on the ground with Swift. And for one of the first times all night, he is going to go nowhere as they bury him behind the line. Two yards the loss, second and twelve. They run out of the gun with Swift. Found a little room there as he's up to about the 37. My goodness, 229 yards on the ground for him now as he has gotten better, really, as the night's gone on. Brandon, I've got to think this offensive line has got some smiles on its faces. And, and I know it sounds crazy, but they practiced for this back in training camp. They knew they'd be in situations where there'd be extra defenders in the box coming after them, trying to keep them from locking down a game. Right now, they want to show the world they're up to the challenge. So first and 10 now in Houston territory at the 42-yard line. They will run straight ahead with Swift. And he's got Rome. And this defense not ready for that one as he'll take this down inside the 25. Another big hitter there. This one good for 18. Well, that's a carry they have to be satisfied with. And throughout this game, they've been satisfied with what he's given them. Whenever they've needed a big run, a first down, He's the guy they turn to, and it doesn't matter what the defense thinks. They feel like they've got the confidence to keep handing it to him and keep picking up good yardage. 
It's a seven-yard carry to set them up with a second and three. Just two minutes remaining here in the fourth quarter of what has been a one-sided affair. So the Lions in possession of the football as we welcome you back. They've got a second down now as they look to salt this one away. Three yards remain for second down. From the gun, here's Swift. And he'll get him inside the 15 down to the 14-yard line. Four yards the pickup, first down. It's nice every now and then in this game not to see people overthink it. Just hand it to the old reliable guy, let him pick up the first down. Right back to him on first down. And he will get into the end zone. It's another touchdown. This thing is ugly. Well, when coaches come into a game preaching to gets ready to take over. Here's a handoff to Swift. It's a six-yard gain on the ground, and that'll make it second and four. And there we saw one of the downsides of blitzing during a rundown because sometimes you get out of your gaps. You don't fit the run quite as well because you're headed towards the ball carrier with abandon. The last run got six. Now second and four. On the handoff, this is Swift. And he'll get it down on the play to the 37. Seven yards there and a first down. The partner under the lights in primetime, this offense, they gave the nation quite a show, putting up that many points to come away with what will certainly be a memorable win for them. And Brandon, I think it's as simple as this. Some players, some teams, they're just meant for the big stage. And when they get a chance to play in this type of atmosphere, where all eyes are on them and all the lights are shining brightly, they show up and they show out. 